Today we will be creating an unique poster like text effect using only Snapseed app. Snapseed is not so user friendly especially for creating text effects compared to other popular apps but still with some creative steps we can achieve this. I have this image of a man posing. I will start with turning this to black and white using the black and white filter. Choosing a color which doesn't make the face too bright or too dark. I am going to save this as a copy. We will use the expand tool to increase the canvas size just a bit. Now I need a black canvas to start upon again. Instead of importing a black image, I am going to just use curves and drag the top right point to the bottom to turn the image black. Next we will add a text to this with the text tool. For this video I am going to add the word alpha starting with only al. We'll move it a bit up and make it bigger. We'll add the remaining letters and move it and align it to the bottom. Next using double exposure menu, we'll add the earlier shared black and white image and choose darken as the mode which makes the image visible only on the brighter parts. Resizing it as needed. We will save this as a separate copy. We will invert the image using curves. Dragging the opposite points to their adjacent corners which makes the text black and the background white. We will save this as well. Now we will blur this using lens blur tool. Setting to linear and moving it down. Setting blur to about 60. Applying it and saving it. This is needed to create a shadow effect. We'll delete this effect as it is no longer needed. Next we'll create some colors to the background. First by creating a white canvas by dragging the lower darkest point to the top in curves. With curves again dragging the blue curve down which adds yellow to the image. Also green curve a bit down which adds magenta and a combination of yellows and a bit of magenta will give this orangish color. We can come back and change it later if needed. Now we will add grunge filter to add interesting texture to the background. Trying different things here. Again we can always come back here and change if needed. Adding some vignette using vintage filter with a black theme. We'll add some saturation in tune image. Now using double exposure, I am going to add the blurred text on top of this and change it to subtract mode. Seeing if darken mode would be better but subtract with a bit lesser opacity may get results here. Also moving it just a bit down towards right to make the shadow more visible. 
we can see black borders cropping up so going to masking screen and brushing out them Now adding the image of black text on white background and choosing the subtract mode. Again with double exposure, this time adding the image of text with black and white image on top and choosing lighten mode. So now you can see the shadows with textured background. We'll go back and change the grunt texture a bit. Just increasing brightness of the background to make the text pop more. Tuning the shadow effect a bit as the bottom part of the shadow seems too dark. One other way is to minimize the vignette effect. We can also change the color if needed by going back to the curves and moving the green curve further down to the bottom. This too looks good. So as you can see with only one image in our hand we can add every other effect including colors and textures using only the tools in Snapseed. Can be quite versatile though sometimes it may take more time to make compared to other apps. Hope this video gave you some handy tips and see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.